Oh, for the love of all that is good. Can we make one jump? Just one jump without running directly into something trying to kill us. I imagine that would be possible if I was able to calculate our route before jumps. But seeing as the nav computer is still down and your highest priority is coffee, I expect this to be the norm for the foreseeable future. Man, Jenny, your ability to rationalize chaos, that's what's got me wondering if you weren't a station rescue crewman in a past life. I didn't have a past life switch. I was literally born a month ago. We're traveling in time, Jenny. Let's not count reincarnation out just yet. Well, at least it was a binary system and not a black hole or a white dwarf. Maker knows this ship doesn't need any more punishment. Seems you've grown attached to Thugely's needle there, Commander. Well, since this ship is literally the only thing separating me from the cold vacuum of space, yeah, I'm a little attached to her. It. It. Yeah, you know what I meant. Alright. Uh, let's take a look at the repairs. Oh boy. Oh, if I can't get a coffee, at least I'm not gonna suffocate. At this rate, I'm gonna be a licensed mechanic on this model of ship. Like some kind of mechanic man. You're not that talented. Ugh, jeez. It's like living with my parents all over again. Switch. Did you make sure to tie down the cargo in the hold when you went in there? I never went in the cargo hold. I had everything I needed up here. Why? I'm detecting movement inside the cargo hold. Right now. Ginny, can you read me? Yes, Switch. I am the ship. I can broadcast anywhere inside, including your earpiece. Good. Man, I wish I had a weapon of some kind. You don't have a weapon? How are you in Sidewinder Syndicate and you don't own a weapon? For someone with a quantum computer for a brain, you forget things a lot. I'm a radio DJ. Why in the world would I need a gun? Because you DJ for one of the most notorious squadrons to ever exist. Okay, fair point. Look, if we make it home, in one piece, I'll buy a pistol and name it after you. Any readings, Jenny? Whatever it is... It's moving between two points in a rather frantic fashion, as if it's pacing. Pacing? Freeze, checking scum! Ah! Please don't hurt me! I just wanted to find the break room! I'll break your... Wait. Excuse me? The break room? I was trying to get to the break room, so I can make some coffee. But I'm stuck in this place because the boxes are so close together. <laughs> what the frick? You're a limpet! Switch, have you engaged the hostile? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's talking about coffee. I'm gonna hear him out for a minute. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, pal. Calm down a bit. Let's see if we can make your situation any better here. Yeah. Well, that crate only weighed about a ton. No big deal. Ah, thank you. It's nice to be able to move around again. So, can you lead me to the break room? You said you want to make coffee, right? I need to make coffee. It's my purpose for existing. Switch, did you create a coffee machine out of a limpet? No! When would I have done that? I would remember making a limpet program for the sole purpose of making me coffee? Well, reboot and repair shouldn't take that long. Maybe I can fix the coffee maker while she's gone. She'll be back before I got a hot cup of joe in my hands. Okay. Oh, oh God! Oh, my bones! It's been two days, and I'm no closer to fixing Jenny, the coffee maker, or anything else on the ship. Oh, God, ah, the same bone. It's been five, uh, seven, eight, eight days. I, yeah, it doesn't matter. Time's a construct and completely meaningless. Anyway. Uh, since my last vlog, uh, we've just been drifting out here the whole time. So I started talking to Dave, and he said Nicole had an idea 
that we may be able to jumpstart Jenny if we can find a power source out here and what? Yeah, look, I, I'm telling them. Well, I haven't gotten that part yet. No, I didn't tell them about that. <clears throat> I can assure you that my intentions were only good. Excuse me, hi, my name is Jenny. I'm the ship's co -vest. Do you have a name? Well, actually, no. When I woke up, I was alone in this room. And I've been trying to get to the break room ever since. So no, no one was around to give me a name. Holy crap, that was weeks ago. You've been back here this whole time? Man, that sucks. I'm sorry. Well, I think the first order of business is a name. We can't keep calling him Limpet, now can we? You're right. What would you like to be called, buddy? Well, my reason for being is the brew coffee. And you said that crate didn't weigh a ton. I kind of like Bruton. That seems a little on the nose. Switch. Hey, I was going to say it's a great name. Welcome aboard, Bruton. Thanks, Dad. Oh, no. No, no, we're not doing that. I take back what I said earlier about you not having mechanical talent, Switch. The fact you were able to relocate Bruton's CPU and memory unit into a smaller stripped-down unit. How did you do it? Magic. <laughs> <laughs>